vintage Sony four band solid state transistor radio. This is a model wind noise. TFM 1000 WA. 13 transistors, one transistor for voltage regulator. Tokyo, Japan. I picked up several of this style radio at this month's swap meet. Something I absolutely do not need, but I like to work on these and uh, eh, they have germanium transistors in them, so they deserve to live, I guess. So we got FM medium wave, short wave one, and short wave two. And this is kind of frozen. Oh, I hope it's not full of Duracells. Not another, oh crap. Another radio sacrifice to the gods of Duracell. Or maybe this is a mix of different battery flavors. Look at that, the corrosion comes all the way out here. It's probably all, radio's probably garbage. These are so old, they don't even have that goodbye date on them. Okay, we got an energizer here. Take your damn batteries out of your radio. 917. 97, maybe? 87? 77? Yeah, if you're going to write full date, if you're going to write date codes and stuff, write a full date too. Because there's so much of this type of crap, you know. And I'm sure there's a date code on this somewhere and I, I'm not going to figure out how to. Well, let's open her up and see how baked out and corroded she is. corrosion here maybe more than a little bit anyway in a previous video I mentioned that Sony made their own transistors and that right there is a example of what I was talking about it looks like it's separated out audio amp IF RF so front end IF audio out this might work, except that, oh yeah, it looks really corroded down in there. This is interesting, I wonder what this is about. Red, white goes on top, it looks like, then red, because they're already breaking off. It's in bad shape. Well, I wasn't quite sure how to get this apart, so this kind of got sacrificed. Um, I guess I could still get it together, but what a mess. What an absolute mess this thing is. It's just like... wonder where that was. Oh, 
Oh, it must have been glued right here. Must have been glued on there. Wow, what a what a karate doodle, doobly do, do boobaloozer. Nice size audio output transformer, though. Look at that. Nice size speaker. We'll resurrect this thing, that's for sure. So the switch, the band switch, is actually up here on the board. And this is a... See how that... Well, maybe it's not up on the board, but there's... There's a switch on the board... Maybe that's AM FM to change the IF, but I think what's frozen is this, and I'm cleaning it all off with my wire brush. It's interesting how there's a clear defined line here of where the vapors ate it up. Oh no, I see the band switches right here, and then the IF switches right there. doesn't look like it works. All I can think to do is just to kind of just lubricate, spray the hell out of it with contact cleaner and just work it because I'm not going to take that switch apart to clean it. This radio is too far gone. This band switch goes all the way from here to here. This is all that band switch and then this is I guess what shifts the FM, I, the IF from 455 to 10.7. I'm going to guess that's what that is. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh! Okay, let's make sure I got this hooked up right. Green is ground, ground is going to black which also is, goes to ground on the battery, that's right. Red, uh, this is positive 6 volts, goes to the meter, and then that goes to here. Yep, that's why you want to use a current meter while working on old equipment. Something is shorted. Let me go down to 3 volts. Go down to 3 volts and we'll see. Is it just capacitors that need to reform? Ooh. Little Crackle Pony Master Play. Let's turn that up. Maybe not. So why do we go from... Why do we go for at three volts? We're at uh, 30 milliamps, and then if we go to six volts, we're over a hundred milliamps. Ooh, interesting. My guest today, His Excellency Archbishop Salvatore Cordelione, the Great Archbishop of San Francisco. If you want to join us, uh, the number here is 888-914-9149. Oh, on, a, on a slightly different issue here, too, and I'd love to get your take on uh, Pope Francis um, and, and the reaction. That's... Can we get some 1070 K COVID? There it is. For full service and full confidence in your water, it's 888-846-1945. 888-846-1945 and water dot source water. Taste and feel the difference. Cave Another mortgage tip from Holiday. Have you refinanced in the last couple of years and would like to take advantage of I'm gonna of try. Money, but you don't want to start your mortgage clock all over again? Ooh. Rolls the remaining term down. I don't want to cook my meter though. Let me, um, that's very odd. I mean, if we just need to do a brute force reform here, let's do it. But here we go. 
Morningcom. The news you need. When you need it. 140 milliamps. Top local stories, the worst of the fire season bearing down on California. Well, it's laid out to protect yourself. Here's the next phase of home improvement. The story coming up in five minutes when Bloomberg checks your money. Plus power outages, high winds, and widespread flooding caused by the catastrophic Hurricane Ida in Louisiana. Those stories in the next 15 minutes. But first, traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. Brought to you by Grocery Outlet. Here is Manny Pacheco. Well, let's begin in Inglewood, 405 North of Century. We had a six-car pileup. Sounds like a chain reaction crash. The carpool lane is blocked, and there is a heavy volume of traffic that keeps you on the brakes. If I south before Ditman, a two-car injury crash, both over to the right. There is a backup to, uh, through the East L.A. interchange, actually. Monterey Park, 710 South from Valley to the 10. We say you were rejected. Their refi didn't go through. One of these is uh, sensitivity. Ooh, super sensitive. Well, it died. You killed it. Well. It doesn't even sound like it's got bad capacitors. And we're, we've dropped down to uh, 50 milliamps, so it must be capacitors. Ooh, I think FM was working. This is... Definitely the first thing I want coming out of me when I'm resurrected. Consultation. Put a clip lead on the antenna. What do you mean? Summer's almost over. This thing works very good. I don't even think it needs capacitors. It's, it works so good. It's loud. I mean, it, it, it goes way into clipping. It's just now I'm trying to take this thing apart. I got the clip off and that out. I'm gonna uh, maybe I'll soak this. I have that croil stuff, or maybe I'll soak it in transmission fluid or brake fluid, or maybe I need to warm it up a little bit with a torch to get it to free up. I mean, it is frozen.
should be shortwave. I need to get this thing fixed. Instead of just trying to guess where the switch is. I don't know if I have my clip lead on. Is this the shortwave antenna? Geez, which antenna is what now? Let's try this one. Four-year-old girl with a knack for nature found two colonies of rare stingless bees that went unnoticed for 70 years. The Sting were taken to California's Department of Food and Agriculture plant pest diagnostic Stingless bees. They say it's a rare find as the bugs live in Brazil. They think the insects are descendants of those... Okay, I think I got it. The FM... It was still in FMIF, so... I think it's hot now, so let's see. All that noise is the damn phone. Sounds awake. Can hear the bug zapper spark gap generator tester. Interesting. Sounds like it's working on sh shortwave. I took this selector off and I soaked it in penetrating oil for about three days in a little bag. And I got it loose and then I took it all apart and cleaned it and greased it. So we have a very nice working selector. I fixed this this is what shifts the IF from 455 to 10.7 uh, this where this rod 
is soldered on here. Uh, I re-soldered it, it was broken away, so now you can see that works. I cleaned up this. I took this plastic off, cleaned everything with a wire brush, and I disabled this external power plug thing and I ran the wire straight from the power switch to the battery. I cleaned up everything. This has just pretty much been all clean and lubricate. I did check all of the capacitors with the capacitor wizard and they're all decent. So no high, no high ESR capacitors here. They're all good. So besides that, whatever was shorted and causing the high current draw before it reformed. So now I'm just slowly sorting all of these corroded screws out. I've got these screws which I'm not quite sure where they go. I didn't take those out. Um, it looks like they're the type of screws that hold this thing on. So I, maybe they were removed and dropped in here by someone who previously worked on this I don't know but they were just laying in here so the rest of these I'm oh I glued this is pretty much just more of a restore clean up the corrosion I glued the power switch indicator back on like I said clean this all up as best I could or as best as I'm willing to. And now this, I'm not quite sure. I might just bypass this. I don't think I'm ever going to use this with a headphone. I don't really like earphones. This is local or distance. Where's KNX? I think KNX just causes it to totally overload. Let me see. Oscar, vamos ahora con People are going to say, okay, we didn't like the way it was. It was chaotic, it was disorganized, but we're glad we're out. It was the right thing. Even though COVID is the predominant political issue right now, the Afghan football could be equal to it. It just can't handle KNX. The Kelton KNX 1070 News Radio. The senior UN official is warning that food in Afghanistan could run out this month. The hunger crisis added to the challenges. People living in the nation are currently facing as the country's new Taliban rulers work. It just totally overloads it. But officials say will allow money to get to qualified applicants. City Council President Nuri Martinez says LA has the largest rental assistance program. This is too damn sensitive. This is tragic story on our Facebook page right now. Where's the Black Lives Matter radio station? That's got to be this up here. Give them a pardon. Rightly so. Convicted back then by an all-white jury. Yeah, this is your Black Lives Matter KBLA or whatever. He said, while these pardons are not attracted to justice of the seven, they serve as recognition from the Commonwealth that these men were tried without... Need an antenna on it. The alternative with geez, this thing is like out of control sensitive. 16 ounce. Full. I'm on my 
my knees when I'm begging Cause I don't want to lose you Okay, it looks like I'm, it's working, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the back on it, which will give me the FM antenna. i got to figure out which one connected back to the FM antenna. And then the other ones were just, I don't really care about those, ground and uh, shortwave antenna. By the way, it sounds like Radio Guadalupe TV, well, maybe without the TV, is still on the air because... I'm getting it here below KJAZZ, and Analog Channel 6 has been off for about a month now, I think. Uno menos mil quinientos. So nice to have KJAZZ. Man, this is a sensitive receiver, and I can't even get the antenna up all the way. I'm stuck here. Uh, this is all corroded. I'm put some cleaner in there I'm trying to get it to come loose but this is a sensitive ass radio Sounds like there's something wrong there. Strawberries are buy one. Number one for music, radio, and podcasts all in one app. Yeah. Something wrong with the FM. I wonder if that IF switch is not going over all the way. Upgrade bundle. Weird. Waiting for you on the iHeart radio. Rightfully. Yeah. Or at Jack. Or G. Or call. Weird. Some areas the stations smear across the top of each other. That's not right. Shortwave. Nothing there. Well, has a has the potential to be an epically awesome radio, but just isn't because it's so corroded and whatever the the corrosion probably got inside a bunch of those old trimmer capacitors and stuff but anyway that's as far as i'm going to go with it i hope you enjoyed it uh, not 
not much of a repair video um, not in good enough shape to really dig into too deep but there's some of these for sale on eBay if I really wanted one I would buy one that isn't all corroded and start with a decent specimen Lots of smoke. Burning fly smoke. Back on the Sony TFM 1000, an issue surfaced where at lower ambient temperatures, the colder it gets, the bottom of the AM band, the AM broadcast band stops working and then that moves up. So when it's cold, like if it's cold in the morning, 50 degrees or whatever, 60 degrees, it's hot right now, it's about 85. AM won't work at all, and as it cools off, you lose the lower end of the band. So the other thing is, is the way it overloads so bad. Uh, right now on KNX, I have it in local mode. <laughs> That is KNX trouble. So unless I turn it into the null point of the antenna, which is the weakest signal for the radio, it overloads. And you'll be tested. Greenberg says with the exception of holiday periods, these low fares will last through the end of the year. Brian Ping, KNX 10. So I want to try and cool the converter transistor off with a little, well, spray duster upside down is cooler. So let's find the converter transistor and cool it down. See if it, well, I'll put it on a station at the bottom of the band. Maybe like... Rosario Pichardo. Here in about six minutes. AM converter right here. Q202. So Q202 is down here, which is interesting. That's where all the damage is down here. It, it, it would be underneath. Okay, so that transistor is right under here. Can't pull the damn trigger. It, it, it stops where it won't work, not drift. Entonces, fíjate los descontroles. 
Of course it won't do it now. I mean, it just stops working when it gets cold. And FM still works. Yeah, frozen and it works. Okay, there it just stopped. Yeah, and before, before, it would work, yeah, it's, before it would work on shortwave, so it's got to be that transistor. So it's just dead now. Got to be a bad converter. So it uses all the same transistors, 2SC 829 for AMRF amp, AM converter, uh, first, second, third, fourth I IF amp, 829, huh? 2SC 829. Interesting. And they look like they're just NPN silicon transistors. The drop from base to emitter is. 0.6 volts. So I'm looking at the IF strip because I said, you know, that they're all the same. And if you look down in here, these are plastic case transistors. But then I said the RF amp is, a, is the 829, and I'm looking at the RF amp, which is this right here. And this is an SK part, which is an RCA replacement. SK, it's an SK3018, which is like an NTE replacement. So someone, you can see someone cut the lead off, so someone, someone was replacing, replaced that transistor. I don't know if they were fighting this issue. Okay. There's the, um, oscillator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it, I'm going to see if the oscillator quits. Yeah, the voltage is dropping. Okay, I'm going to push the DX button. The voltage keeps dropping, though. Look at that. Face mask penalty. And there she goes. Say goodbye. As that transistor got cold or whatever I sprayed, 
it just got a face mask penalty. Going bye bye. And there she goes, she flatlined. So like 20 minutes later, once it flatlines, it don't want to come back. Here it comes, it's coming back on its own. I'm not touching it. See how high the voltage goes. Not easy to get to or service. And I look in here and the first thing I notice, see that little black thing there that looks like a disc capacitor next to the transistor? That is most likely a thermistor. Yeah. Don't like the looks of that. Okay, so we're at 74 milli microvolts right now. That's just for comparison. I'm going to spray this directly on the transistor. I bent it away from the thermistor. Okay, I've got it frozen there. Just a transistor, and it's dropping. Takes it some time though. So I hit the thermistor and it dropped and then it came right back up. I got the transistor frozen and it's flatlining again. It's definitely that transistor. Here it comes back again. What a weird fault, huh? But I bet that battery corrosion got down in the down in those leads. So you see this resistor on the end here is corroded. Yeah, I bet that battery stuff worked its way. Some of these transistors are just no good. These early Japanese plastic case transistors. But it's coming back. Interesting failure. Well, it's the next day, which is actually tomorrow, because it's been sitting overnight. And I wanted to get a baseline here before I change that transistor, and it's just totally flatlining, because it's cool. And it's not even that cool. I mean, and I decided I was going to just use one of these transistors. Uh, the transistor that's in here is a 500 megahertz crossover transitional frequency. No, I'm sorry, it's a 700 megahertz transitional frequency transistor. These are, uh, I think, 300, but both this and that cross to an NTE85, which whatever, that's NTE, NTE sucks. But I still want to try one of these just because it's like cool to do that kind of thing, like totally, you know, like kind of totally, yeah. I'm going to try and heat this sucker up with a soldering iron, see if it'll come back to life. If I can do this. Of course it tests good, but eh, that doesn't really mean anything. And plus it's hot right now.
I should try freezing it and see. I'll let it sit for a while. Let's see what it says. The, the beta is 90. Well, it sounds distorted with this transistor. I'm going to try a different one. Sounds great, doesn't it? I recognize this song. I... This has got to be like theme music to something. There you go. This is a KT368. Russian uh, 900 megahertz and this one sounds clean if you turn it to its null point I mean it just overloads there Now if you put it on uh, These converter transistors are very picky. These are the front end. So every time you change the transistor, you move the spot on the dial a little bit. That one's that one almost sounds decent, like tolerable. So this is a 2N3563. I almost think this works the best. It's another 900 megahertz. I'm listening to the sensitivity on DX and local. That's DX. This is a Russian KT312 silicon transistor. This one has the highest output at uh, 61. So I just went with the Russian one, the KT368. And I got to tell you, this was not easy to get in here. Uh, I was almost contemplating putting it on the top the way they did this one. So I put it back together, cleaned all the flux off real nice. And it's interesting that it's not distorted now on DX. If I put it on, I mean on local, if I put it on DX, it's just way too much for it. It's like so overly sensitive. This is a nice piece of music. I've been listening to it as it is putting all the screws back in. It's very mellow and I'm actually starting to like this station. I never thought, you know, classical would be would be tolerable on AM, but it actually it's not bad. Yeah, it's not in stereo. I mean that would be nice if it was in stereo, but Here's what it is. Just keeps going. How long is it? 27, uh, 11 minutes. Okay. Pills. But if you take the. Really? How much much? Now is the perfect time. Call today and receive it. It still just overloads on KNX. You have to turn it to the null point. How about Kogo 600? So I wonder if with that, that new transistor. 
Let's see if shortwave does anything. Okay, that was the phone. Yeah, I think shortwave is still jacked up. I might find myself laying flat on my face. Rangers in the night, exchanging glances. Okay, experiment time. This is the one that came out of it. Let's do this. Okay, the beta's 85. I'm going to freeze it now. Okay, the beta went down to 57. 66. Oh, look at this. Now we got leakage. Weird, we got this ICO leakage. It's just all over the place. Now I froze it again. Now look at the turn on voltage. Oh, look at this display. I hope I wonder if that's water getting in between the pins from the ice. I don't know. I don't like this transistor because it looks like it was epoxied in from the bottom. Kind of like the epoxy dome ones except Japanese.